Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to carpet time today. I'm so excited you guys came and joined me today. Let's go ahead and get started, okay? Can anybody tell me what month we're in? That's right, we're in the month of May. To so this month is May. What's the month, boys and girls? That's right, it's the month of May. And yesterday was Monday. If yesterday is Monday, that means to, today is Tuesday. That's right. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. So let's go down. And we're missing our flower. So let's count together and see what number of flower we need to put on today. Are you ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That's right, boys and girls. Today is the nineteenth, and a nineteen is a one and a nine. That's right. A 19 is a 1 and a 9. Let's go ahead and put 19 up. So today's date is Tuesday, May 19th. What's the date, boys and girls? Tuesday, May 19th. So crazy. Should we count to see how many days to the last day of school? How many more days do we have after today? Are you ready? 1 two guys we only have two more days until the last day of school how crazy is that are you excited for summer i know i am oh holly's excited for summer too she came to join us okay so what's the date boys and girls today is tuesday may 19th okay let's go ahead and sing the days of the week song when we get to tuesday we're gonna say it louder are you ready there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Good job, guys. Did you sing with me? Did we say Tuesday louder? I think we can do a little bit better than that. Make sure you're all singing. When we get to Tuesday, we're going to say it louder. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Good job, guys. Let's go over to our months of the year calendar and let's sing our months of the year song. Now, remember, we're still in the month of May and May has how many days, boys and girls? That's right. May has 31 days. How many days does May have? 31. Okay, so when we're singing our months of the year song, when we get to May, we're going to say it louder that's right boys and girls are you ready january february march and april may june july and august september october november december these are the months of the year good job did we say may louder did you sing with mrs williams do you think we could do a little better than that? I do. Holly wants to hear you sing, so I need you to sing really, really, really loud so Miss Holly over here can hear you sing. Right? Okay, you ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Good job, Holly. Did they sing so well? Yep, yeah, Holly thinks you guys did an awesome job singing the months of the year song. She loves to hear you sing. Tell them good job. Yep, good job. 
Okay, guys, we have four seasons, right? Winter, spring, summer, fall. On the count of three, I want you to yell as loud as you can what month we're, or what season we're in. One, two, three. Did you guys say spring? Because if you did, you would be right, because we are in spring. Spring is the months March, April, and May. So because we're in the month of May, we are in spring. But we're at the end of spring. We're almost in summer. That's right. Okay. Guess what time it is. Can anybody tell me what time it is? It is counting time. That means we're going to count. And guess what? Because it's the last week of school and we are super smart and we have been doing so well counting our numbers, we're counting up to 100. I know that seems like such a big number, but I know you can do it because your brains are so smart. Okay. Now remember, I want you counting with me. I know it's 100 is a big number, but you can do it. I want you counting the whole time with me. Holly wants to hear you count. Ready? One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Are you counting with me? Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, 29, 30, keep going, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, Holly can't hear you, keep counting, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, Whew, halfway there guys, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Come on, you can do it. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Keep going, you can do it. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Almost there. Keep going. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Good job. Now remember, I want you counting every day and counting as high as you can go without making a mistake. And once you make a mistake, that's okay because it's okay to make mistakes, but let's try it again. Our goal is that we can count up to 120 by ourselves with no mistakes. And we're getting there. We make a little bit of progress every day. Good job. Okay. Today, for story time, since we have Holly with us, we're going to read Clifford the Small Red Puppy. Are you a small red puppy? Is Holly a small red puppy, boys and girls? Nope, she's a small white puppy. Okay, let's read the book. Hi. I'm as Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big red dog. Yesterday, my friend Martha said, I got my dog from a fancy pet store. Where did you get yours? So I told her how I got Clifford. When I was little, I lived in the city. I didn't have a dog. One day, the man down the hall called us. His dog had puppies. He wanted to give me one. One puppy was smaller than the rest. The man said, don't take him. He's the runt. He will always be small and sick. But I love the little puppy and he needed me. I named the puppy Clifford. He was so tiny that I could feed him while the doll, and with one of the doll's bottles. 
he got the smallest collar we could find. It was too big. When he began to eat dog food, he had to watch him all the time. He was so little that he was always getting lost, even in our small apartment. Daddy said Clifford was just too small. He didn't think he could live through the winter. I was very sad. That night, I told Clifford I wish he would grow to be a big, healthy dog. I told him I loved him. The next morning, he looked bigger to me. Does he look bigger? He seemed to have an easier time eating his food, and his collar wasn't so loose. In fact, by the time Daddy got home, the collar was too small. By bedtime, Clifford's tiny basket seemed a little too small for him, so I let him sleep on my pillow again. That was a mistake. Next morning, Mommy thought Clifford looked different. Daddy said, I think he's growing. Does he look bigger? I decided to take Clifford for a walk. At the corner, I saw a big dog coming. I knew I should pick Cl Clifford up, but he was too big. I shouldn't have worried. Clifford really was growing. He ran home to show Mommy and Daddy how big he was. Had our apartment doors grown smaller? Daddy couldn't believe it. We put Clifford in the garden to sleep that night. In the morning, the lady upstairs called us. It was about Clifford. In fact, all the neighbors were starting to notice him. The landlord called the police. They came to see Clifford. They said Clifford would have to go. But how? He couldn't go through the door. There was just one way to get him out of the garden. We sent him to live with my uncle who lived in the country. Oh, that's sad. I was sad. I missed my little puppy and he missed me. One day we got a surprise. My uncle wanted daddy to come work with him in the country. We moved right away. Clifford was waiting for me. I said, Clifford, stop growing. You're just right. Do you think he's just right? I think he might be a little bit too big boys and girls. I don't know that I would want a puppy that big. Do you want a puppy that big? <sighs> so I said to Martha, that's how I got my dog. Tell me again how you got your dog. Martha said, forget it. The end. What a great story about Clifford and how he was such a small puppy and grew up to be a huge big dog. You guys are all small right now, right? Because you're all in first or second or third grade. But as you get bigger and older, you get bigger, just like Clifford. But hopefully we won't get as big as Clifford because that is a little too big. Okay, have a terrific Tuesday because terrific starts with the letter T, just like Tuesday starts with the letter T. So have a terrific Tuesday. Enjoy the nice weather. And I will see you back here at carpet time tomorrow because yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday, and tomorrow is Wednesday. So you have a terrific Tuesday and I will see you here tomorrow. Bye boys and girls.